Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Brutus and in today's video I will be doing a guide on gauze in Stranded Deep. So the gauze is the same as bandage but before we get started I just want to thank all my subscribers for supporting me on my YouTube channel and helping me out. The support you guys have been giving me is impressive and I love it and I want to thank each and every one of you for helping me out and if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe because i do get about two to three subscribes a day and that's shocking um and if you want to leave a comment if it's a positive comment i'm going to like and heart the comment if it's a positive question uh, or any question i guess i'm going to like and heart the question um, and i'm going to reply to the question and if it's a negative um comment i'm going to delete it as i do not want negativity on my youtube channel um, and yeah, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And if you want a shout out, stay tuned because I do ask questions and I give you guys shout outs if you get the questions right. Um, but with that being said, let's get straight into this video. Okay, so the goals in this game is uh, similar to bandages. Um, so this is the goals. As you can see, the requirements for this is if I go, I, I can craft it, no, let me just drop this items oh, never mind, I don't need to drop it I can just go here because uh, I want to go to the inspection so I can tell you guys what you need the, if you need a, a coconut flask, I'm going to show you how you can craft the coconut flask you're going to need a kura fruit and I think this is pronounced a guava a guavava or something like that is what it's pronounced I, I don't know how to pronounce it but that's the fruit um, and I'll show you guys how they look like as well um, okay so first let me just show you guys what the fruit looks like so as you can see that's the tr two fruits that you need so this is the cura and that is the one I can't pronounce <laughs> and anyways so that's the two fruits as you can see this one is actually spoiled but it will still work and to craft a coconut flask you will need one coconut and one lashing you're gonna need this yellow coconut you're, gonna, you're not gonna use a uh, coconut that you skinned already so you're gonna use a yellow coconut like this um, and then you go into your quick craft menu you craft your coconut flask and in your inventory you should see this coconut flask shows that you have one serving now you can take this and water a plot or you can just drink it uh, I prefer just drinking it because it's just one serving it's one block of thirst and then you have your three items so it is a guava whatever th fruit that is it is a spoiled well not a spoiled but a cura fruit or spoiled doesn't matter and then it's a empty coconut now if you go into your craft menu you'll be able to craft gauze you, you need a certain um, craftsman level yeah craftsmanship level is what you need to craft this and well i'm pretty sure you can craft it within your let's say first three days of the game um but this is gauze so if i i go to my hand go to the inventory uh this is as you can see there it says in the description of this um if you just hover it in the description of the item it says natural gauze uh, to stop bleeding so it's the same as bandages i'm going to show you guys how you can make bandages as well um but the way you get uh, let's say um or the way you start bleeding is if you get bit by a shark um so here's a bunch of shark as you can see that teeth of him they will definitely make you bleed and if you go to boss fights they all of the bosses will give you bleeding um yeah so then you will need gauze as soon as you drink gauze well i can't drink it because i'm not bleeding but if you drink gauze it'll stop you from bleeding or it will stop the bleeding effect as you can if, as you can see if i'm at my status effect mine doesn't say bleeding minus but if it says bleeding minus gauze will work or you can use bandages now bandages is easier to make um the requirements is lashing and one of these um cloth you can make cloth and you can make bandages so i'm going to make that and i'm going to show you guys how you can make it so for lashing you need four uh fibrous leaves so there's four and for uh 
cloth you need four or five layers of leaves as well so as you guys can see i have eight right over there and you will also need a loom so if i just go into my crafting yard i can craft lashing and when i go into let's say i need to stand close to my loom and then i'll be able to craft cloth that is the cloth you will need as you can see there is lashing and there is uh, a piece of cloth now you'll be able to craft one bandage so one bandage is the same as one gauze as you can see medical dose one medical dose one they are exactly the same and their description should say the same a roll of bandages can be used to treat bleeding so the description is pretty much the same and this is uh, I can cover them both in the same tutorial but I'm going to call this a gauze tutorial as it is a separate item and I have included the bandages in the medical item or in the medical video but that's the basics guys so what I prefer what I personally prefer is using bandages as it's cheaper to make and it does exactly the same thing and the downside about the gauze is you need to find the plant first then you want to grow it so you're gonna need farm plots and there's a lot of things you'll need to make gauze and that's why i myself prefer using bandages but that will be it for today's video guys as you can see there is bandages and gauze in the game doing the exact same thing i don't think there's any other uh, items in the game doing the same thing well except for um watering items or let's say coconut flask and a clay flask i think there's a deer skin or water skin as well but those are different items in their own perspective but thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful please leave a like as that will support my channel a lot and if you're looking out for a shout out stay tuned for my next question um, and make sure to get it right if you guys want this lantern to float in your island as well, I will make a video on that if it gets requested in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see all of you in my next video.